we're talking about the incident that happened in Dasmarinos village where the police was called upon by was it a resident or the barangay or the village association because yeah. apparently there was a violation of the quarantine rules of wearing a mask outside of your property and the police showed up and wanted to find the person the maid for a thousand pesos and the maid rushed inside mm -hmm. told, the, told the owner and the owner rushed out and they started arguing and from that point on that's there the hilarity is and honestly my take on it gina at the end of all of this is yeah. this is a comedy of errors <laughs> yeah it started with the maid innocently just you know following her and you know, doing her job the cop getting excited because somebody said there's a violation and he probably was bored that they going that everyone's following the law oh there's a violation excitedly <laughs> wanted to enforce the law ran in there with his full gear on scary looking in a military looking outfit the resident drinking that morning enjoying his drink suddenly finds out the maid is six, no, it was 6 6 p.m yata, 5 p.m 6 p.m so happy hour sure. happy hour <laughs> and then going out and then you know my god it's just one comedy after the other the number one number one i think that let's clarify um that the iatf their their rule or the law that they were um implementing was that Mm. You have to wear a face mask when you are leaving your residence. There's not enough information disseminated to everybody. Like, because somebody is outside of the house, outdoors, but still in the same property, not wearing a mask, is that okay? Okay. Because everybody says, everybody says, oh, you have to wear a mask when you're not at home. Okay, for you and me in a condo, that means once we step out the door, our front door, we have to be wearing a mask, right? right? But for somebody who lives in a gated community in a house that is still considered his house, right? That's still considered his property. Yes. And you're not, wear, you're not wearing a mask there. That should be technically, in, at least in my eyes, I, I'm, that's why I'm curious to see what, what, the, what Amanda has to say. Um, because that's technically still your house. Sure, you're outdoors. But it's not, I mean, there's... there's there has to be, I guess, some sort of better information um, cascaded down to everybody. Right. Like, what are, what are the rules and regulations for all of this bullshit that is happening? Maybe not just here, but maybe around the world, right? Because what is outside the house for me and you in a condo is very different from what, what is outside the house from somebody in Dasma. What is outside the house from somebody in in Tondo is very different from what's out. You know what I mean? It's very different. Everything is it's almost relative in that sense. Um, if we as citizens want the respect from the cops, from the police, from the, from, from the public safety officials, we also have to show respect to them. If you were being... Uh, find or the cop is telling you that you know they're doing something when you know clearly you haven't done anything wrong yeah wouldn't you be a little bit pissed i mean you could understand why he would yeah. be pissed i mean yeah, come on yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and I, yeah i would i would but i mean he also doesn't have to be such an asshole about it he was an asshole <laughs> about it uh, yeah well, well, let's just be honest he was sure. but it's not a, but it's not a crime but exactly. it's not a crime exactly right? it's not a crime to be an asshole but apparently, uh, but apparently, apparently, one of my one of my lawyer friends said to me that uh, that what he did, kasi, was you know that that abusive behavior, cursing at the authorities and everything, could be yeah. considered as grave threat or slander or yeah. unjust vexation. So mm -hmm. they could uh, file charges based on that. Yeah. But, but the thing is the. The resident can also file charges and a counter charge saying that they were making an unlawful arrest. Yeah. So the, the, the thing is for me, as a citizen, I think that um, you have every right to complain and be upset. But th this one, it's, it, the guy, the cop, was reporting because somebody, he was, because somebody complained. Right. But he could have easily looked at the situation and told the complainant, Mom, they're in their property. Wala po tayong dapat. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. again, again, that's the thing about the police. They're, they're the eagerness to enforce a law whether there is a violation or not. 
they have to be more, uh, they have to practice, uh, I like uh, Amanda's word, maximum restraint yeah. uh, in cases like this. Because, my God, I mean, <laughs> they're in a position of power already. Yeah. When you're in a position of power like that, you must learn to de-escalate the situation. It's a tense situation. And yes, I understand. Uh, they're, they're also in a stressful situation. We all are. Yeah. Now, the guy, yeah. So the guy maybe is having a drink at his home. I mean, did you know at that moment you're having a whiskey that suddenly somebody's outside in your, the police is outside in your property about to find your maid for watering the plant? <laughs> it's not like he drank and then ran outside. He was drinking, enjoying his drink. Yeah. If it was true that he was drunk. I don't know if he was drunk. But belligerent, yes. So I, I think he said that. I think he admitted to it. He admitted it. But because when the cop said, uh, you're, you're drunk, you're not thinking well, you're not thinking straight. And he goes, so what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll add this point about the arrest from my, my friend who's a lawyer who I consulted on this. And he said that the thing is regarding the arrest, the general rule is arrests need to have a warrant first issued by the court. Exception is when the crime is committed in front of the arresting officer, which now allows the officer to arrest on the spot. And even if it happens in the property of the so, suspect. So wasn't that, so that statement you, you just said, like the, the fact that, that the resident was going at the cop the way he was, does that fall under that? I, I don't think, um, that's a good question because I don't think that um, that's, uh, first of all, uh, you have to define, he said kasi ang ano dito is grave threat or slander. And I asked, was telling the guy to fuck off a grave threat? He was no. Slander? It's, um, I don't even think it's, I asked if it's even slander is in effect verbally saying something not true. Saying fuck off doesn't say it's true or not to you. So technically, there's no basis for the arrest if you think about it. So the cop was just, now here's my opinion. The cop, I believe, because he was pissed, was just, Using his, uh, abusing his authority by saying, I'm going to arrest you without any basis for the actual arrest. And that's the problem. So we've talked about how it started. But we're talking about now at the point of the argument and the arrest. The officer actually pinning him on the ground and wanting to yeah. arrest him. Yeah. Did you feel that the officer had the right to do that? I think... He just fell, to be honest with you. I think they were kind of moving around. He was trying to, the police was trying to drag him back out to the street yep. uh, so that he's not in his property. <laughs> and then the, other, the resident was like, oh, fuck that. I'm not going back out to the street. This is, I'm, I'm more uh, in my rights in my fucking property than I am out there. And he falls over. The cop kind of falls on him. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then he kind of realized, oh, I can put cuffs on him or whatever, restrain him now. And then when he did, as he was doing that, that's when the wife said, or the, the wife or the katulong said, na parang, uh, may sakit yan, et cetera, et cetera, don't, uh, don't do that. And then, and then the cop realized, you know what? All right, but I'm going to get up and, and uh, just not do this. Right. So honestly, the, the, the one here, on, if you're going to point fingers and point fault at this whole situation, it's the whoever made chuchu, whoever made sumbong about, <laughs> about them uh, watering their plants with not wearing masks within their own within their own property that person whoever did that is the one who caused this yeah because it wasn't necessary it wasn't necessary yeah you're right that could have been easily resolved by the village uh tano or whatever just going there and saying um, excuse me ma'am um uh, please wear a mask and it's like, uh, well i'm in my property uh, okay and then yeah gone on Done. with the with the guy yelling and everything okay I'll tell you this. I don't think he did anything legally wrong. Yeah, he was just being a dick. Yeah, but <laughs> he was, which, which is not a crime. Um, yeah. And honestly, my God, if you've had a few to drink, Pucha, you would probably be yelling like that too, didn't it? No, yeah, no, 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 I get it. I, I, I understand you know? the, the, the anger. But again, he was also being a little, being excessively asshole about it, right? right. But he could have said it's, it's not, a, Yeah, it's not a crime. It's not a crime he, to be an asshole. He could have said his point and then um, <laughs> walked away already and then done. But no, he kept coming back out and talagang berating and talagang yeah. getting the point across. But he already got yeah. the point across. So 
for me, Gina, it's like this. Um, I think that uh, he wasn't legally wrong for doing that, but he could have handled it better. Yeah, 100%. Kind of just say, officer, we didn't do anything wrong. You can't find us. Uh, uh, and that's it. Thank you. And then just go yeah. back in his place. The boss. I mean, 100%. And they can write the ticket and give the fine. Any, what, are they, what are you going to do? And then take the, and then don't pay it. Contest it. Yeah. And then, exactly. I mean, that, that, that would have been, uh, Chris, that would have been the best scenario. Get the fine. Be like, all right, fine. Here's get, get the ticket or whatever. Uh, as long as that cash up front, right? Because right. who knows what they're going to do with that cash. Right. So get the ticket, get the fine. Be like, all right, I'm going to contest this. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to contest, contest your stupidity and then put it away. Yep. And then let, let the officers on, on, go on their way. Yep. Because had he done that, nothing would have been, everything would have been okay. Yeah. But, now, but because, you know, again, because everybody's on edge at the moment, he made the situation worse by being the prick. Right. But, but again, it's, it's, it's not a crime. It's not a crime to be. I, sometimes I'm an asshole. Sometimes I can be a prick. I know sometimes you can be too. Yeah, but. we all can. <laughs> okay. So now, now here's the thing. Okay. So uh, apparently uh, Makati Mayor Abby Binay has already yeah. found out about the situation and chimed in on it. And she wants the police to now investigate the case of the cop assaulting the resident and wants charges filed against those who is found accountable for the incident. And the, the inquiry was uh, deemed immediate, and um, they, they really want to get to the bottom of this. All okay. right. Oh. What's your prediction on that? Do you think there's going to be um, any charges filed against uh, those that found accountable? Maybe assault charges? No, I don't think I, so. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't think, I, don't, I think um, I, it, it depends on, I guess, the, the resident, right? I mean, if he's going to calm down and, you know, look at the situation from afar, from a third party, think about things. I mean, clearly he did. He, he contacted Rappler right away, right? He sent a message to Maria Reza. Um, but maybe take it, you know, just step back a bit. You look at the whole thing and then <laughs> see that video where he was, from me, you know, be an asshole and be like, you know what? Fine, I'll let it slide because it, the way it looks like he has the right to he has it's it's on him whether or not he wants to file assault charges because oh, yeah, you're right. Property. You're right. It is his. So, not, not, you're right. So if I was him, I'd be like, Nah, go ahead. Like let it, let it, let you know. Uh, I'd let him go. I'd let the cop go, and be like, you know, just, just, just try and be cool about it because the more he presses on the situation, the more he presses on it, it might just get, make things so much worse. And yeah. it's just what, I don't see the point. I don't see the point of it. There's just like at this, at this point, why, what, what's he going to get out of it? If, so if, he, if he does press charges, you're actually right on that one. And I think uh, after he sees his own video of him yelling yeah. uncontrollably like that, he'd probably be like, Oh man, how did I lose my cool like that? Yeah, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing it with it his is. pants halfway down, and it's yeah. like butt naked. So, like so, a couple of friends of mine who are residents in Dasma, um, I think, know this guy, <laughs> and they see him like outside with his shirt on, and then just you know making delig or washing the or watering the grass or whatever. So maybe he has that kind of reputation to be outside, like exposed but again it's not it's not against the law <laughs> and it's in his property so it's in his property so it's just it's just this whole thing is it's a shit show that clearly could have been avoided um unfortunately it's reached again a point where uh, so many people are talking about it and um I hope I hope they find I you honestly the Lugi guy here talagang Lugi dito talaga yung police. Eh. Bakit naman? Because nadamay lang. Like, because dude, why like if I was a cop and then I'd see somebody making if I was that cop and I saw the the, the helper making dilig outside without a mask on, I wouldn't mind her. But I, because somebody complained and then sent him there to do it to do something about it, he had to do something about it. Yes, exactly. I understand, but at the same time, to say a little bit of presence of mind would have told the cop that oh yeah yeah, yeah. ma'am wala, no, wala naman masyadong issue dito wala yeah, tao mag isa lang yung maid kaya there's nobody there's a property 
There's there's nobody around her. Magisa siya on the lawn. There's nobody around her. So what? Exactly. But okay, I understand because maybe the police again. It could be also the police being overzealous, much like the Choo Choo resident, the the <laughs> snitch was overzealous, and that's what's causing the problem. There's this, you know, parang wanting to enforce the law strictly. But yeah. wait a minute, are we even enforcing? Or are we stepping beyond the boundaries of what the yeah. law's interpretation is? And that's where the issue is. And I think the police, because I saw also an, uh, uh, an article saying the police wants to charge ka. And I'll tell you what they want to charge you with. Tell me what you think. The Makati police are set to file charges against the resident of an exclusive village for disobeying authorities who are enforcing the enhanced community quarantine. Well, I mean, I mean, okay, so he's, he's an officer of the law. Right. Right. And he's telling him to... You know, he's he's asking him to do something, but because the guy just kept on yelling and screaming at him and just cussing at him, you don't under read. The only thing I heard from the cop really was, "I don't want to argue with you." That's the one thing I really heard that was clear from the cop. And then, and then after that, it was just all of the resident just right. berating him, with all these insults and and whatnot. So, I mean, you can say that he he did that, so to speak. But again, just take the fucking fine and then just fucking <laughs> just contest uh, it and not contest pay it. it. Yeah, don't, don't pay, pay it. don't pay it and contest the damn yeah. thing. Yeah. Done. Yeah, you're right. Done. You're right. That would have so, avoided the whole thing. So basically, it's two things. Eh? There are abuses that were happening. Number one, uh, the abuse or the the abuse of the person, the resident abusing the authority. <laughs> Eventually, yeah. the police said, you're abusing me, I'll abuse you too. <laughs> so they were both wrong. They were both wrong on that. They were both, they were both wrong. They were both, they were both wrong. Um, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. So both, two wrongs don't make a right. Including, yeah. So make it, make it three wrongs. Three wrongs, including a person who made choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> right, three wrongs. La, 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 male. Everyone was wrong. Yeah. God. So Damn. I think, how do, how do we resolve this then? What's the, what do you think the resolution will be? Uh, I think it'll be dropped. Yeah, from both I ends. Think, from both ends. I, I, mean, don't think, it, I, I think the PNP is just, it's like a blustering of ego. And kasi nas, na, na, ano din, nasaktan ego nila because... For sure, for sure. So that's what they're for saying. Sure. I'm going to file charges. What charges are you filing? There was no... There are no, um, there was no crime, there was no offense. But at the same time, the Makati mayor is saying investigate it because they want to file charges too. But you're right, the resident will probably look at this and go, Sabagay, I did a little bit, <laughs> yell too much. Anyone would have probably popped the, popped the nerve, you know? Yeah, yeah. But that's why, the one what Amanda said, like um, maximum what? Tolerance? Ah, which is so, right. uh, the, the Amanda said, that the, the police need to exercise maximum tolerance. You're right. Yeah. yeah. The so, guy wasn't a real threat to begin with. There was yeah. no threat, physical threat. It wasn't like the guy was pulling a gun. He, you, yeah. you, know, you knew that he wasn't threatening. To me, I wouldn't blame the cop. I wouldn't blame the resident. I mean, I understand how frustrated he can be. One can be uh, when he sees that, especially in your own home. And the cop was just following orders. So it just... Comedy of errors, like you said, not to make light of the situation. It is, it is, uh, it is serious. But um, whoever called the barangay and complained about that, uh, you need to check yourself because that was not anything. Unless they did something beforehand that they're walking around the village without the mask on, and he did it like many, many times. Yes. Maybe, then maybe, then maybe you have a case, right? But yep. just from just from being within your property. And you know, watering the plants without a mask on that's just it just seemed too much. But again, when, once a resident sees that video of him, I don't think he's I think he'll be like, All right, no more, let's let's drop the case, forget it. I, you know, I think this is just uh, it's very overheated because of social media, and we're talking about it because it is it's it's sensational. It's there's videos of it from both sides, yeah. and I think yeah. that's what makes it interesting. Uh, but but at the same time, I, I'm glad that there is a video of it because 
this also teaches us lessons, both of us, as yeah. citizens and as enforcers and the ones, the lawmakers, as citizens, yeah. that if there is a situation, be respectful. You can be firm, assert your yeah. rights. If you're firm, assert your rights in a respectful manner, most of the time, the police will listen to money. Yeah. At least yeah. I'd like to believe that. I'd like to believe yeah. that. I mean, yeah, I'm with you on that. Now, the police also, I hope it is the, what anybody from the police force do get to watch this, is that they're in a position of authority that they also do have to practice maximum restraint and tolerance. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to understand every citizen situation. These citizens are also stressed. And a lot of them are also going through a lot of things. So unless there's grave threat or danger to their lives, they should just also relax and yeah. to the government, to our government officials, I wish that the police would get proper training. Proper training yeah. and proper guidelines. Like you said, the yeah. proper guidelines and the training. There's just not enough training on how to de-escalate the situation and how to calm everyone down.